Hi, it's John Mitchell, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So just two things this week. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the recent Ward 3 City Council race, the special election, the preliminary special election just that just happened uh, this week. I just have really two messages. Uh, the first one, the most important one, is I just want to thank all the all seven candidates who ran uh, in that race. It takes a lot of guts to run for office, to put yourself out there, to put the time in and uh, ask for people's votes. And, and, uh, and that's to be commended. We've had some issues in the last few years with having enough people actually running, and this was totally um, against that grain, and it was great. So I really, and it was a very civil race on the issues, and so um, those candidates did their ward proud and the whole city proud. The other thing to talk about uh, there, of course, is was the very low voter turnout. Some of that's going to happen if it's just a ward, uh, only a ward race on the ballot, and if it's a special election as it was. But six and a, a six and a half percent voter turnout is still really low. So I think it's incumbent upon all of us. Um, I suspect that most people, just about everybody, is watching this on cable will, would agree with me um, that we got to continue to do our best to encourage people to get out and vote. It's a, it is a minor inconvenience like any other time out of your day, uh, but there are many more ways to vote now, early voting and so forth, and absentee voting. Um, so uh, the more that we can like pull our friends and family in to get them out to the polls, um, uh, the better off we'll be as a city. The more people that we have going out and participating in elections is a signal to state officials and federal officials that this is a place where uh, that they've got to pay attention to. So uh, we want to continue. Uh, we need to continue to work on that. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about in the uh, category of really good news is the new pedestrian bridge that will cross JFK Route 18 at Willis Street. Uh, it will go from Willis Street over to uh, the Wales Tooth parking lot. This will be for the passenger rail project that's being constructed right now, uh, the inner city rail project between here and Boston. And that's, uh, that bridge is going to look spectacular. It's going to be a gateway into the city for people traveling from 195 to the downtown. It's going to be the first thing they see. And it, it was really important uh, to my mind that it be designed uh, in such a way to look great, and it's going to look great. It's a $21 million project paid for entirely by the state, and uh, it is something that I think will, will be a landmark, not just now, but in uh, the years ahead. So we're, we're really pleased with the outcome, and the, um, uh, the City Council will be taking it up uh, this coming week, and then uh, we'll, we, we anticipate that construction will start this year. So. Uh, a, a big win, and uh, I just want to thank the MBTA and thank uh, former Governor Baker and, and uh, Lieutenant Governor Polito, as well as our state delegation for supporting uh, the project overall. And it's a, going to be a nice addition to uh, uh, to the urban environment in New Bedford. Something that will not, not just again now, but for generations to come. So with all that, that's been the Mayor's Weekly Update. We'll see you next week.